Good morning, dear friends. Welcome. It's the beginning of another week. It's Monday. And it's that in-between week. <clears throat> Christmas has gone. Well, those of us who observe 12 days, it, we're, most people do. It, it, we're going to go till the 6th of January, but the excitement is over. The, the Saviour has arrived. We're all a bit fed up with Christmas carols. And it's not the new year yet. So what do we do in the days between? <laughs> well, they're just ordinary days, aren't they? They are days in which to serve the Lord, to, in which to spend time with him, to bless him, to give thanks um, and praise his name. And uh, my thoughts have been all over the place this morning. And I think that's because yesterday I learned um, that during this year, uh, several people that I knew very well back in Croydon. Um, uh, before I came here, I came here 20 years ago to marry Terry and um, uh, left all my church family and everyone back in Croydon. And um, I learned yesterday when I contacted a friend, we always contact at Christmas, um, that several of them had gone to be with the Lord during this year. And one, a particularly close friend, um, who I came, who came down, has come down several times with his wife to visit us and stay in, stayed at the hotel at um, Windwhistle and um, at the Warners Hotel there. And we went out for meals and trips and things when they came down um, that he went to be with the Lord just before Christmas Eve. Um, so my mind has been full of thoughts of the past, <clears throat> remembering um, the fellowship and the encouragement and the fun and laughter and uh, that went on within a group of friends that I was part of um, for many years. Um, so I was looking back and I was thinking about how the Lord comforts us and how he, he blesses us and he strengthens us and um, he's there for us every day. And every day is a new day to serve the Lord. Uh, every day that he gives us is a day to treasure, is a day to look up, not down, is a day to make the choice to continue following him. And I was thinking back to that psalm we looked at yesterday, which began with, it is, it is good to sing praises to our God, for he is gracious, Psalm 147, and a song of praise is seemly. And then uh, verse two, three and four uh, are a contrasting two verses. Um, uh, caught my eye this morning as I was looking at this psalm again. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. And I take that both mentally and physically. That when we hurt ourselves physically, we have to bind up our wounds and allow them to heal um, and keep dirt from them and so on and put balm on them or cream on them whatever we do to bind up a physical wound but also a spiritual wound he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds god is good god understands the frailty of our nature he understands when our hearts ache and when we feel sad um, he understands and even though we know that our friends are with him and safe in his keeping. Um, it still hurts to know that they're not, we can't just see them again. And then the next verse says, he determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. And the contrast is so amazing because the brokenhearted or the wounded are individuals. He binds them up. He meets us where our need is. And yet, he's the one who numbered the stars, who chose how many stars there would be. And he gave each one a name. I, that's, I mean, when you think what all, what all our, um, our scientists have told us about how many innumerable stars there are, how many galaxies there are, how vast the universe is, that our God should know every single star by its name. I, I, it's, 
It's mind-blowing, isn't it? How can the God who is that big and that great know about our individual circumstances and care for us? And the great truth is he can and he does. And he, he delights to do it. And we, we have had a really difficult year, some of us, those who've been really closed in and locked in. And we've all turned to the Lord. And we have gained many things during this year. Time to reassess our lives, time to think about what we're doing, time to spend with him, time to pray more and listen more and worship more. And we have been so blessed with the modern technology that we have that enables us to communicate across the world very easily in a way we've never been able to do before. It's wonderful. And he is so good to us and he has been so good to us. And he knows the wounds we've received this year. And he is ready to bind them up. As we come to him and we say, look, this, this has been really hard. He will put his soothing ointment on the wounds and bind us up. Whenever something hurts, whenever we need help, we shouldn't soldier on alone. We should turn to the Lord. You know, there are many people when disaster comes in their lives, you don't see them at church or in the fellowship meetings. They stay at home, they stay away because they're afraid that they'll cry or they'll break down or they'll embarrass themselves or whatever. But we must never forget that the church of God and the place of worship is our home. It's our family. It's more our home than our home is our home. And that we should not stay away from God when we're hurting, but we should come to his comfort, to his embracing arms, to his healing touch, and allow him to heal us. There's something in our culture that expects people to behave in a certain way when they're bereaved. And we know it takes time. But, but actually, when we are in the Lord, we know, a di we, 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 we grieve in a different way. And we, we can decide to worship God, even though our heart is breaking. A sacrifice of praise, because he is worthy. He hasn't changed because circumstances have changed. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is forever the God who is with us. The God who is with us where we are not where we'd like to be or where we think he, th he would like us to be. He is with us where we are. And we need to let him be with us and let him comfort us and let him give us back our joy. Let him lift us up. Let him bring us healing. It's quite a thought for the day, isn't it? Anyway, God bless you. Have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.